Okay guys, this is hammer fingers for violin. Start with your violin in rest position. You do not need your bow today for this activity. I don't know what else is on your homework, but for this you don't need your bow. All right, spread your feet apart, get your violin out, turn the butt to look at you, put it down on your shoulder first, make sure that that shoulder rest is nice and on, and then lock it in with your jaw. You should be able to hold your violin without any help from your hands. Okay. Our left hand, our, our violin hand, not our bow hand, is going to come and do some slides just like we did with our slide and pluck. Remember, you need your thumb to be on the right side. Uh, well, obviously, you need it to be on the fat part of your thumb, okay? Your thumb shouldn't look like this. It shouldn't be under the violin, and it shouldn't look like this where it's way too high. Hello, Mr. Fun. And it's taking away your mousy hole. Look, no mice. Slide it down to where it goes. You also need to make sure that this hand's at the knuckle, right above the knuckle, not underneath the violin, not on top covering the strings, but just right on the knuckle, sliding up and down. Okay, good. We have a nice loosey-goosey wrist. So now we're gonna go back to our position, all right? This violin over here is going to come and just hold on to our violin right here. It's not going to move it around. It's just going to actually hold it still for us for a little bit, but our jaw is still doing the work. Our jaw and our shoulder are holding the violin. This is just supporting and making it a little easier for this exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to do what's called hammer-ons. We're going to start with our one finger. So on any string, it doesn't matter which string, we're just going to start pressing this finger down. When we do that, the first finger down, when we do that, we want to make sure that our first finger is making a little square. Do you see my little square? Okay, from the front of the violin, boop, boop, from your view, it will end up looking like your finger is just right up on its tippy toes. If your nails are too long, well, actually, your nails will be on the violin, so make sure you cut your nails, okay? So we have this nice little square, and it's going to hammer on like this. Make sure your mousy hole is still there. Good, you shouldn't be squeezing the violin. Don't crush it. Just lift the finger, put it down like a hammer. And you can hear it go. Okay, good, now let's switch to our second finger. Here we go, switch. Make sure it's landing on the tip of its finger. It's not flat like this. It should be up on the tip, right on the bone on the tip. All right, now we're gonna switch to our third finger. One, two, ready, go. Feel, make sure that your knuckle right here is still on the violin. Your thumb is here. They're not squeezing. They shouldn't look like this. They're nice and loose. The only thing that's happening is the finger up here is coming down on the violin like a hammer. Just falling down. Good. All right. Now we actually don't hammer finger our pinky because remember I told you those tendons are connected. So until we strengthen our pinky a little bit more, it's not really safe for us to be hammering our pinky. 